Hello and welcome to this very special tour of Kitwe presented by KitweOnline.com. Kitwe is located in the northern part of central Zambia. And flying into the Copper Belt, we approach Kitwe from the southeast. Here we are now looking down on the Ndola Kitwe dual carriageway. And as we approach Kitwe, the welcome to Kitwe road sign is just before the Kamfinsa prison turn off on the right. Moving forward, we approach the Kafue River, which loops around Kitwe on its eastern side. The river here is flowing from right to left. After the river is Luangwa Township on the left and Mulenga Township on the right. As we approach the next river, Chamboli Township lies on the left and the motorway then crosses the Kamatemate stream. After the stream, Wusakili lies on our left and Ndeke Township is on the far right. Climbing up the hill, we come up to the first roundabout or rotary, as the Americans would say, at the police station on the right and Wusakili Primary School on the left. The road goes past Wusakili and Miseshi and on the left, as it turns right, is Wusakili Mine Hospital and on the right, is the Agricultural Society annual show grounds. The dark mass on the left is the result of copper mining. It is the copper sludge dump. It consists of the residual molten rock after the copper has been extracted. Nkana Copper Refinery lies between two sludge dumps. Wasakili SOB shaft lies west of Wasakili. Miners go underground here. Underground explosions have led to these massive sinkholes looking like giant footsteps west of Chamboli and Wusakili. In the heart of Wusakili is Scrivener Sports Stadium on the left. Continuing on our northward journey, on the motorway we see the 16-foot railway bridge that crosses as it goes southbound. On the west is Nkana West, and Kana East is on the right. The two low density areas are joined by Central Street, which crosses the motorway at Kitwe's first traffic lights. The road turns north into the town center and is crossed by Kantanta Street. Kaunda Square lies at the center of the commercial part of town. Within the four blocks surrounding the square is the commercial area with banks and shops. Matuka Avenue then leads west from the square. It's Kitwe's High Street. Main post office is located here. Shoprite lies at the junction of Matuka and Independence Avenue. Between Nkana West and the town center is Kitwe train station. In the forecourt of the station is the automotive train on display. Sadly, it's in urgent need of attention. The local bus stop is conveniently situated nearby on Oxford Road. Independence Road runs north out of Kitwe towards Chingola. And Edinburgh Hotel lies at the next junction with Oboti Avenue. Oboti Avenue is leading from east to west towards Chisokone Avenue and to the left of the avenue is Chisokone Market where you can buy anything from vegetables to electronic goods. In the town center, St. Margaret's United Church with the red tiles and next to it is Sacred Heart Catholic Church with the green tiles. Independence Avenue crosses the roundabout and slopes towards Kitwe Stream. To the right, and also heading northwards, running parallel to Independence Avenue, is President Avenue, which is a continuation of the dual carriageway in town. Kitwe Civic Center lies off President Avenue in a tree-lined road on the right. President Avenue forms a T-junction with Freedom Avenue, and Freedom Avenue is going round the Freedom Park and crossing the Kitwe Stream to enter Parkland's residential area. And Kuomboka Drive crosses Freedom Avenue 
at the Parklands Roundabout. Parklands Shopping Center lies to the left and below the roundabout, and Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, ZNBC, is just to the right above the roundabout. Lubambe Shopping Complex lies in front of the block of flats on Kuomboka Drive, which is leading east from Parklands Roundabout. And Kuomboka Drive crosses Jumbo Drive at the next roundabout, and Jumbo Drive runs in front of the Copper Belt University campus. Nearby, the Kafue River snakes its way around Wulangililo, Ipusukilo, and Musonda Township, as well as Riverside. One of the posh areas is Muldan Solo Crescent, where some famous people live. Well, back along Kwamboka Drive and heading west from Parklands Roundabout, on the right is Lechwe Primary School, and next to it is Kitwe Boys High School. Next to that is Helen Kaunda Secondary School. As we go towards Independence Avenue, we come to the Kitwe Fire Station, which lies between the two roundabouts on Independence Avenue. Kitwe Central Hospital lies just behind it, and it's behind Kwamboka Drive and Kwacha Road. Kwacha Road heads eastwards with Buchi in front and Kamitondo as it goes past the Kitwe playing fields. Chimwemwe Township is just visible beyond Chimwemwe Stream. Back on Independence Avenue, we see Chiluma Road, which heads west from the uh, second roundabout, and the heavy industrial area is just above Independence on the right. Mindolo Open Pit, looking like a white scratch mark in the earth's surface, is on the left as you go to Chingola. And Chingola Road runs past Garneton. Behind it is Mindolo Dam, and on the south tip of Mindolo Dam is the Mindolo Boating Club. West of that is Kalulushi, which is 20 miles, 20 kilometers west of Kitwe, and Chibuluma next to it is just near the South Downs Airport, which lies 21 kilometers west of Kitwe. The airport itself is not far from the Kafue Road Bridge, where we started our tour. This brings us back to the south end of Kitwe, and viewing it from the south of the river, we see the whole town once more. Look out for more tours at kitweonline.com, and our next tour will explore Kitwe in more detail. Thank you for viewing this video.